Happy Halloween! Welcome to the Deadly Addiction Channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Halloween Kills, the latest in the Halloween movie franchise. And holy shit, did I get angry at this movie. It's spooky, it's Halloween night, I'm doing this right after watching it, I'm probably not going to get it out by midnight, but I'll try. You know, you're trying to have the atmosphere and everything's, you know, Halloween candy. This fucking movie drove me nuts. Okay? And I'm going to sum this up because I think I know what happened. And it's only in an uninformed opinion because I am thoroughly annoyed at this movie. Okay. The Halloween movie that came out in whatever it was, 2018, I thought was pretty good. It did things that I didn't like, like cut out other movies, which I wanted to keep. See, in my head canon, Laurie Strode is Jamie Lee Curtis's character, has been through everything that the movies portrayed, and it's caught up to her now. So, if you cut out the third movie, which is fucking Season of the Witch with the fucking masks, which is not M Michael Myers, so you got the first two, done. Then you got uh, four and five where her daughter, she faked her death. Then you got what? Um, uh, Halloween H2O, which is revealed she faked the death or something like that. And she got the son. And then it's after that. And then she's older. And then you, know, you could have made this a legacy of, of, of a buildup with all the momentum. But no, they tried and attempted to say okay no after the movie the first movie i don't even think they make the second movie happen which is dumb i like the second movie so what this movie does spoilers whatever plot whatever the fuck alert alert is it says after the first movie they arrested him and this is all done in flashbacks so they cut it out a lot of the built up um you know, legend of this character in that sense. So, for instance, I'll give uh, an example. One of the survivors that she was babysitting is in the movie. All right, so first of all, I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm, I'm fucking driven. I, I'm, I'm actually pretty angry at this, but in an enjoyable way. The movie is directed by David Gordon Green, and he's out of his fucking mind. Written by three people. They should have got their shit together, and someone should have edited this movie. So I'll get to my point real quick where I wanted to sum up everything and what I think they did. So they cut everything out. When they got the success of the 2018 movie, they went, holy shit. Someone submitted the script for the, for the sequel, right? They took 30 pages of it, took the rest and saved it. Oh, we're going to make a third movie. And then they fucking paired it up a 30-page fucking script. And added things in the beginning. Cut it up, put it in the middle. And then by the end, you've really only got what they wanted you to go for, which is another fucking movie. Sorry, spoilers. This is fucking annoying. I'm watching stuff. I'm oh, this is pretty interesting. They're doing a flashback, 1978, and it's going on way too long. Then we get into the stuff. Okay, uh, here I am. Let's do it. Oh, what the fuck is going on? What's this? What is this long, dragged out bullshit? Okay, whatever. Let's get to it. I get it. You know, myth, the boogeyman, the shape. You know, I'll say one thing. The fucking music is great. Love the fucking music. And there's a piece of a great movie here. <laughs> Somewhere in this movie is a great fucking movie. But someone fucked it up. It, it, it feels so clear to me, even though I've stoned and potted out, and uh, it's Halloween, it's spookiness. We are watching um, them, I think, try to make money and sequels. I don't know how they went along with this. Love Jamie Lee Curtis, love what was going on. The person who plays her daughter, we got uh, Judy Greer, Andy Malchak. Will Patton, Anthony Michael Hall, who plays Tot, like the survivor, and they got Lindsay, the little girl. They fucking pulled out all the stops, and it was like chickens with their heads cut off. This movie is, goes everywhere, 
and nowhere. There's a section in the movie where they're in a fucking hospital because guess what? Jamie Lee goes to the hospital. Kind of like the second movie that they're cutting out, right? Oh, he's going to come for me. He's going to come for me. Obviously, written in the script that they're going to change things. She, uh, the, the, she's not the focus. They got these overdubbed voices between her and the cop who survived the first one. And they're trying to put this together when there's too much time spread apart. This fucking movie's crazy. Like, they literally do things in a flashback and then catch you up to what you think is now. What you learn is going on right before the 2018 movie. Then they go into the t 2018 movie. They've got these chunks of movie that go, okay, this movie was going to be like the second one was in the 70s, right? Laurie's attacked while babysitting. She goes to the hospital. Oh no, Michael's still alive. The confrontation's at the hospital. You can see that was in the fucking script. Because there's a fucking cut where she's in the hospital saying, let it burn, let it burn. But remember, I like the fucking mother movie. I liked it a lot. The, uh, the other movie ends, the Halloween movie in 2018 ends. They turn the tables on him because she's been preparing and ready. Her, her daughter, her granddaughter, lock them in a safe room in the basement and burn the fucking house down. So, they got this 1978 flashback. They're cutting in chunks of fucking movie. You don't know what the fuck is going on. Okay, here's the creepy, here's the killing. All right, what the fuck is going on? Let's catch up to the, where the last movie ended, get to the hospital. But no, let's start adding shit. Like, a guy who is fucking escapes from an asylum because of a bus, at, bus accident or something like that, and they think he's Michael. And every fucking shot is getting every extra you can to crowd into hallways, and, and, and it's just the stupidest fucking dialogue and situations. Holy shit. Could have paid me couple of months rent and I would have fucking punched up the script or fixed it. I'm not even bragging. I can't fucking believe what they pulled here. It feels so shaped, cut, altered, and moved into position to be a middle movie of a trilogy now. Just bring everybody back. Kill them, kill them all. Just fucking go nuts. Have it all segmented in a fucking nightmare mess. So when you get to the end of the movie, it's really only 10 minutes after the fucking movie started in a way because she's at the hospital. This whole fucking hour and 45 minute movie is a fucking uh, flashback beginning, piece it together. Oh, so this is kind of what happened back in the day. Let's retcon things, right? Awesome fucking Dr. Loomis. Holy fucking shit. He makes the movie fucking, he brings the child in me and brings me alive. Awesome fucking decision. Holy shit, it was awesome. The retcon they did to fix things? Go fuck yourself. Just fucking enough. Enough. Bullshit. Alright, so you got a new team, you got a new idea. They come in and just put chunks of a movie into a script that was, to me, obviously, the fucking next movie broken up. It's just fucking silly. Jimmy Lee Curtis does nothing but wear a robe through the whole fucking movie, which is kind of pairing it up with the second movie back in the day. But yeah, you want to cut out all that. Okay, so Tommy, the fucking, the, the guy who survived, who was played by Paul Rudd, I believe, in the fifth one? Sixth one? Sixth one. Holy shit, I don't know. Right? He has a speech, and it's so fucking ridiculous, okay? Because they retconned everything, he comes up like an AA fucking meeting, tells a story about how he survived, and a fucking cheer to the people, and I literally, shit you not, he goes, yeah, this man, 40 years terrorized, killed three people, and in the back of my mind, I'm going, okay, look, it's bad enough one person dies, I get it, but this is a fucking movie, it's a Halloween movie. You took out all his cred, all his fucking... Rep, his, he's killed dozens of people. And if you would have kept the story and just added in some nice dialogue that, that Jamie Lee Curtis can say, her family's been ruined multiple times in her life. As soon as the second movie ended, she started a family. She had to fucking fake her death. Right? That kid grew up, had a baby, whatever the whole fucking movie's about, uh, fucking cults. Fine. 
You wreck on things, you bring Jamie back and say she faked her death, she's got a son, blah, 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 blah. Josh Hardnick, whatever the fucking thing is, right? At least keep that momentum, like, and build on it. He has a fucking speech that's supposed to be fucking spooky to all his part, and it's ridiculous. Okay, the man killed three people and terrorized a babysitter and her fucking kids, and I'm going, this is fucking ridiculous, and he's played by that fucking guy... Pretty decent in a way, Anthony Michael Hall, but it's garbage dialogue. Everything's so stupid. Evil must die, kill it. What the fuck is going on? And these obviously crowded cutscenes to cut the camera off in a hospital that's packed, chasing a guy they think is Michael, but he's not fucking Michael, and it's obvious. And there's people screaming in slow mo, and there's fucking deep. In now, mind you, there's a fucking piece of a great movie here. What they fucking had, you could have just did what they wanted to do, which I think they wanted to do, mimic the second movie from the original one. Boom, it cuts. On the way to the hospital. Get to the hospital. Super ordeal. Think he's dead, not dead. Blah, 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 blah. Come in. Start it. End it. You know, get that momentum going. Even if you wanted to do another one. But no, they've got paddings of these fucking people. They get together the survivors, and that's part of the AA meeting. It's Haddonfield. It's Anthony Michael fucking Hall, okay? And he's telling you how Michael killed three fucking people, and it's, oh my God, it's fucking Halloween. It's spooky. And then while this is going on, you find out, oh, Lori was attacked. It's mind-boggling. Then he gets the fucking team together, going to prepare, going to fucking beat Michael, and it's the fucking... Cartoon. It's a fucking cartoon. These people go out looking for more. They get. They all get fucking killed. And every fucking scene is a stupid scene with the camera cuts. And the guy went, "Okay, I knew this fucking movie was piss gonna piss me off when a fucking person who's on a team to kill fucking Michael has a fucking gun. The female. Michael's in a car, and she's shooting." Blind like a... Like, okay, so he's making it obvious you can't use a gun. And what you never want to fucking do with Michael Myers, you can maybe do it with Freddy. You can do it with Jason, maybe. Okay. He opens the car door. The door hits the gun. The gun fucking spins around and shoots her. She shoots herself. It's like physically impossible. The laws of physics won't allow this. And someone okayed this in a script. Someone sat in a room, edited this movie, and said, Oh, I like this scene where he opens the car door, it hits the girl's gun, the gun fucking spins around like Daffy Duck's fucking duck bill when it fucking explosion sends it to the back of his fucking head. I mean, she fucking killed... It's just so fucking dumb. Let's be super brutal. Let's be super real. Let's be really... And then undermine everything with fucking stupid add-on subplots and stupid fucking ridiculous situations and where you want to draw it out and pad it out and make it extra. It feels so fucking obvious to me. You got people who are cool in the first, in the 2018, let's augment it, let's uh, spread it out. And then what happens, but because of what happened, it just gets filtered and watered down. And I don't know what the fuck's going on with Frank. Okay? The fucking guy who got stabbed in the neck by the crazy doctor and the other one who let Michael go. It's just fucking unreal. And he's in the fucking hospital with her after a while. And it's just fucking craziness. The daughter who plays fucking Laurie Strode's daughter is amazing. I think she's a voice actress on Archer. The granddaughter? Eh, I don't know. You know, let's go fucking hunt Michael. Let's go hunt Michael and fucking act like cartoon characters. Okay, there's a scene that catches you up to what happened to Michael in the first fucking movie. Well, not the first one, the 2018 movie, right? Oh, no, no, there's that too. Oh, my God, I forgot. Okay. It's fucking Halloween. I'm jazzed on candy and stoned. They show a scene that at the end of the first movie in 1978, they arrest Michael Myers. And outside, they have him getting ready to put in jail, and Loomis goes to shoot him in the back of the head, and the cop stops him. That's Deputy Frank. Okay, so he's got a personal thing. And by the way, Dep Deputy Frank tries to kill fucking Michael while he's holding his partner, and he shoots his partner in the fucking neck. Michael gets away, obviously. 
Okay, so they, they catch that up, so he feels responsible. That's part of the subplot and the talk. Okay, it gets fucking nuts, right? So let's do another scene that intercuts things that shows that in the 2018 movie, when she's yelling, let it burn, let it burn, there's like nine firefighters there. One is inside, it collapses, and he calls for help. A structural collapse. So fucking Michael shows. Oh my god, Michael's surviving the fire. Steps outside, and they got this scene set up like fucking, you know, Kill Bill, Quentin Tur- It's just fucking crazy. He steps out, you see the fucking firefighters, they start their chainsaw, they have their axes out, and they do the cutscene nonsense with the fucking camera. But all of a sudden, he said, Oh, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead. This is just fucking stupid. Because if I had three friends with the fucking axes, okay, and, and they were all missing one arm. Michael be dead. Unless you show me something in the fucking movie, which they do at the end. Okay? But this is fucking nonsense. Like, oh, it's, this is an intercut movie that drove me nuts. I really liked the 2018 one. Even though they retcon shit and pissed me off. A good movie is a good movie. It's the way I see it. Not the way I wanted it to go, fine. This movie's fucking a nightmare. So at the end, they got the scene you're waiting for, right? He hasn't killed all the fucking survivors, so there's Tommy, Anthony Michael Hall. The fucking daughter of Laurie Strode is setting up spoilers. She grabs his mask, says, come get it. She leaves it in the street. He goes to get it, and fucking everybody's there. Lights come on, and you got everybody, all the fucking cool people. I guess you got the fucking cop from the first one whose daughter died. You know what the fuck's going on? And they're referring to him, but you're trying to cut shit out. But okay, the first movie's good, but the second one's not. Where he finds out she's dead. This is fucking a, a, a nightmare. And the dialogue is horrible. Tonight, evil die. People are chanting. This is. They tried to take elements, and it was like someone fucking ran with it that was speedballing or something. It just got fucking crazy. So, they beat the fucking shit out of him. They hit him with sticks, bats, guns. They shoot him. The daughter stabs him in the back of the neck and whatever. He's on the ground. You don't have to see this, honey. Go. Go be with your daughter. Go be with your daughter. Fine. Go to your fucking daughter as Michael's laying there. And then the cop from the first movie... Goes and shoots him in the back of the head, and Michael jumps up and he fucking kills everybody. A gang cut scenes, a gun. It's just fucking stupid. You don't show anything until you show it, or you just do it right. I don't mind Michael surprising people and killing people, but this has gotten ridiculous. And now you have your scene that shows Michael Myers can be beaten, he can be shot and stabbed, and he will get back up. And then you get some overtones with her fucking Jamie Lee Curtis in the hospital with fucking Frank, Deputy Frank. And they're talking and they're trying to shift this, uh, um, you know, this point of, this pivot point of Michael won't die unless Jamie dies. Like, that's it. That's is a key scene. She says it to her daughter. She says, she begs her, look, we have to end this. Let me kill Michael while he kills me. It's the only chance we're going to have. I thought it was going to fucking go somewhere. No. So Frank's trying to tell her, no, it's not you. It's not you. It's the house. It's the house. I guess. Right? And this movie's ending in a fucking nightmare fashion. People get nuts. Michael's getting up. He's been shot. Okay. So he is an unkillable shape creature. They're keeping some things. And then it's just... It ends so silly. It's so fucking dumb. It got me angry. I'm like, I knew it was coming. I, I could feel the fucking movie. Know what it was gonna do, and boom, we're getting ready for another movie. And Jamie Lee Curtis is gonna be pissed, boy. Woo, she's gonna be pissed. I don't know. Halloween Kills is a piece of a great movie in here, but it fucking is killing me. Holy shit, man. You gotta do better than this for a great franchise. One I love. Really, really love it. I've watched those fucking shitty movies. I'll watch Halloween Season of the Witch. For fuck's sake. I don't know. That's my Halloween rant. 
I'll try to get this out soon. I'll just edit the fucking thing and put it on so I get it out around Halloween. I hope everybody had a good Halloween. Spooky times. Fun family. Candy. My best to you and yours. Take care.